welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today with a little smidgen from the Target Dollar Spot and store. No, I think it's all Dollar Spot. We'll get there. I'm having in my Hello Pumpkin cup some pumpkin spiced coffee. It's time, I've decided. Plus, I think you're gonna see this on September 1st. Mm. Okay, we have got, we're all over the place here with the Dollar Tree stuff, but I will show you what I picked up. Yeah, so let's get started. Um, first and foremost, oh, here it is. I was like, I'm missing some things. No, I'm not. I grabbed hand sanitizer. Um, my niece, Sarah, as you know, teaches high school and she needed some more hand sanitizer. So I grabbed four bottles, two green and two of this clear. So I grabbed those for her so she has them in her room and she can just take this lid off and put the pump lid on for her kids. So I picked up four of those because she was having a hard time finding it. Then I got her some Pure Well wipes just to keep in her purse or in her classroom. There's 10 wipes in here. You can't beat them. They are kills 99% of most illness causing germs. So antibacterial. That and then they had at the Dollar Tree this spray that's like a Lysol dupe. Um, it is six ounces. So I grabbed that for her to spray her room at school just to keep the kids safe, keep herself safe, you know, like you do when you love somebody, you want them to stay safe. So I found that all at one Dollar Tree. They have an end cap and they had tons of stuff. So I just grabbed one. I did grab four of the hand sanitizers, two at one store, two at another. And then I grabbed the Lysol and the wipes intermittently as well so we got that for Sarah and then I picked up some more householdy stuff these filament light bulbs I cannot remember if I picked them up before but I had out my front hallway here you can't see it but I'm pointing the light bulbs burnt out and over my sink and I thought maybe one of those took these but they don't I know upstairs does so I just grabbed a two pack so I would have when you know one light bulb goes out they all go out and these are LED filament energy saving bulbs, 40 watt replacement. So I grabbed two because I know upstairs takes four of these. So I grabbed that. Um, I found some more dog treats for Christmas for the two dogs. I got these. These are Denta, um, Denta Life Daily Oral Care pre from Purina, all natural again. There's no, they're made in the USA. Maybe Australia? No, I think these are made. Yeah, these are made in the USA and the ingredients. There's nothing sinister in the ingredients. So I grabbed two, two dogs. So one for each of the dogs. Although Luna's coming next weekend, so we'll see how far these last. It's not a big deal It's September, but. Grabbed two of those for the dogs. And then I found these. And Luna, I know, likes these. These are some more, um chicken flavored dental sticks there's 10 pounds 10 of them in here for small dogs made in the usa um not green briar brand and where are my ingredients in here i don't say ah rice flour wheat starch vegetable glycerin water so nothing gross chicken flavor and I grabbed two of those. I like to just grab the treats when I see them. And now I've got a pretty good stockpile of Christmas stuff for the dogs. So that's important in my life. Um, I found these pens. I bought them last year. They write really well. And I love the fall colors. Um, and this brand, this is Greenbrier. Different packaging than last year. But you get a green, a brown, a yellow, which is more like a gold, and an orange. I just grabbed one pack. I think it's fun to write in my planner come fall. And then at Christmas time, they'll come out with a red, gold, silver, and green pack. And they write really well, too. But these write good. So I grabbed those. I won't need any more of that. Um, putting together a little goodie bag for Sarah to give her her... Um, and if you saw my vlog yesterday, you'll see some other things that I put in it. But I grabbed her another pack of these Oreo Most Stuffed. I think this is like a quadruple stuff. I don't know, but they look good, and I thought she would enjoy that. in with her sanitizer and a little gift card and stuff that I picked up for her. 
um, crafty wise, I picked up one of these. If you see this, I would grab it. I don't know if you can see. It is for, let's see here. There we go. What the, the, it's made for, it's a silicone facial mask applicator. I use it for crafting with my hot glue. The silicone doesn't stick. You can use it to mush things down or pick up things and you don't get burnt. So, um, and I wish I could say I came up with this idea, but I did not. I can't remember the channel, but they are using them. They use it. And I said, Ooh, I have a couple of those. Um, I have one. So I grabbed one more just to put in my craft kit. Um, but yeah, it is silicone. So you can use it to, to hold things so you don't burn your fingers basically. But I thought that was a great tool to have in my craft space because I like crafting. Um, I found, oh, at Target. Oh, I'll show you those when I do the Target stuff. All right, I think everything else is Halloween. It is, okay. Now, if you were with me when I cleaned out my fall stuff and I threw these away and I said no more. Well, I bought more. And look, it's already falling out. Ugh. But I needed something in my tear tray to give some height. So I grabbed two of those. They are so messy, guys. They're so messy. You get hay everywhere. I'm wondering if I spray it. No. It's just going to sit in my tray and get everywhere, and then I'm going to throw them away. Um, and then I bought a little mini crate to go in my tray. I need to paint this or stain it or something. But again, I just needed some different heights for some smaller stuff. Um, so I grabbed one of those. I feel like I have four upstairs somewhere, but the, my life, I can't find anything right now. So I grabbed one just in case I didn't already have them upstairs. Um, I found in the, look, I'm getting hay off everything. Um, I'm sorry, these are black post-it notes. How fun for Halloween, right on with your white pen. What? I know. Now, I know these don't stick very well. I got it. I'm on it. But I'm willing to get the scotch tape out so I can write on a black post-it note. How fun is that? Happy Halloween, guys. So I grabbed those just because I thought they were fun. And I do have white pens. So there's that. So I grabbed that. Um, I found some bags. Oh, how adorable is that? And look at this. If you have a big planner, this could totally be a planner cover for Halloween, for October. I'm just throwing that out there. The sides are plain. You know, there's nothing different. There are two of them for a dollar. If you have anybody has a birthday in October, I'm using these for a party that I'm going to be attending or hosting or helping with. Uh, we're doing a Hocus Pocus watch party with my cousins and the young ones. And I say young, but she's 13. Um, and her friends, so I thought I could bring some treats or something in these. Oh, I love it. It's purple. It's pretty true to color. Just a little boo. I grabbed those. Now, um, I did pick up a skull for, um, look, I'm sticking my eyes in this face. For decoration, when we do the, um, the Hocus Pocus party, I'm going to sit this somewhere. I might spray paint it, but I doubt it. I'll just wash it really good with soap and water. And I'll put it on like the veggie tray or something. Because that's what I do. Cute, huh? And maybe some of the bones and like the hands coming out of the guacamole. <gasps> yeah, that'd be perfect. We'll do that. Okay, so I grabbed one of those. Um, also, I grabbed a four pack of these. They're shot glasses. We're not using these for shot glasses. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for. Um, but they have the little skull hand holding them and there's four packs. So I'm almost thinking, depending on how many kids I can build a dessert in here, or we can put dip for dip, you know, vegetable dips or something, or just have them. I don't know. They're cute. So I picked up the orange. They came in orange. I know they came in a black and maybe a purple, but I thought they were fun. And if you do like a real Halloween party, adult-wise, those are some shot glasses for you. And I didn't see these last year, so I'm pretty sure these are new. And you get four of them. For a dollar, um, I bought two of these hams. Guys, these are huge. Like, that is big for Dollar Tree. Like, hey. And they're bad. It reminds me of um, Thing, or is it Cousin It? 
thing, I think, on the Adams family. Like the hand that comes out and gets the mail. It is a votive, but there's a million things you can do. And I have an idea of something I'm going to do, and I will show you in an upcoming DIY video. But I grabbed two in the white, and I know they came in black. So I grabbed two of those. Um, this is not going to be a long video, guys. I picked up two of the, or one pack of these in the copper. One is probably going to go on my tiered tray. One might go behind me. I don't know. They're fun. And I loved the color. And they're sparkly. Now keep that in mind. And I like a little sparkle in my decor. Just not everything. Even like just lay this on the mantle next to a candle would be beautiful. I just think the color is so rich. And I know they have these in different colors. Like an orange and a red, I think. And then this deep brownish coppery gold. No, definitely copper. How pretty we can make headpieces I would totally do it I would be on board with wearing a headband like that okay coming down to the wire here I grabbed two bowls for said party self-explanatory guys they're clear glass bowls and I picked up one of these um, candle older things that you can glue onto things. I wish I would have grabbed them when I saw them without the bumpy, but that's okay. I have some ideas for some around here that I needed to put. I like to, if I'm burning candles, I like to have a surface for it to sit on in case anything happens. Um, or like I have up here, you know, maybe some pillar candles and if they drip, it's great to sit them on this because then it drips on too. That. But you can also make a lid. That fits right on there, by the way. You can put a handle on it and make it a lid for a candle. But it's on here. It's It fits perfect. Just like that. Pretty cool, huh? I just realized that. On the fly. I know. Um, If your store gets these, because this screams Beetlejuice to me. I don't know why, but it's fun. It's just a little candle votive. It'll go somewhere, but it's be it's like Beetlejuice. It's Halloween. It's fun. I know some of you didn't want all the Halloween stuff, but I'm not buying much more. Except for I did find this, and I know this is new. Um, this bat, this is like fabric. Think um, reusable bags. That's what this feels like, but a little stiffer. And then you have the bat body. I There's not a thing that needs to happen to this. And the red eyes. Oh my gosh, I'm going to hang this on my front porch, I think. Like from the ceiling. And just let it, maybe I'll get more and hang two. How fun would that be for Halloween outside? And my porch is covered. So it doesn't matter if it, um, if it rains or something. <gasps> hang a couple of these bats down. And they naturally hang like at an angle. So you'd be able to see them like when you come in. I could also glue it down here and hang it like that so you can really see them. Oh yeah, I gotta get a couple more of those. We'll have to get a couple more for my front porch. So I think that is awesome sauce. And for the tear tray, I grabbed this garland. This garland is two gold or orange, a purple and a black. Now here's what's fun about these garland. No, it's gonna be garland, but these are necklaces. They're not, um, do I have a scissor? I do over there. They're not, um, loose on here. You can cut in between and hang it like a garland. So it's, if you cut a section, you'll get long pieces and you can drape it over like decor or something, which is what I'm going to do in my tray for Halloween or on my mantle, just a little something. I don't go all out for Halloween, but I like a little something. These would also be fun for a party for kids, but um, I'm kind of excited to make it like a skull, purple, gold, black garland. Obviously, they're necklaces, but there's multiple things you can do with them. So I grabbed one pack. I may need a couple more. We'll see. I feel like they have them a fair amount of time. Now, the last thing I got at the Dollar Tree, I am, I'm so beyond excited for. Can you see? I love this. I'm not doing a darn thing to it other than spray that glitter. Look at the black cat, the pumpkin, this 
skeleton in the back of a truck. What the what? Like, okay, maybe I will do one thing with it and stick a stake on the back and put it in a planter or put it in my like, um, with my mums because this is everything in a bag of chips. Look at that. I love the retro vibe it has. The hat, the witch's hat is popped out a little bit. Just the accent with a little bit of glitter, not too much. It's everything, guys. I love this sign. So this is definitely being hung in my house somewhere. Somehow, maybe on my front porch when I do Halloween a little bit. But that is everything I could ever want in a decoration for Halloween. That's how I, that's kind of my, my vibe for my house. Now, that was everything I got at Dollar Tree. I'm looking, I'm looking to make sure. Sorry about the weird lighting, it's five o'clock. Okay, oh, some of this is Dollar General, two things, and then Dollar Tree. Um, I had to have this. It was $1 at Dollar General. Um, my broomstick runs on coffee, what? This is going on my coffee station for Halloween. One more, one more look, guys. What? One dollar. And all I'm gonna do is sand it up a little bit because it's kind of rough. Just clean it up a little bit and call it a day. I love it. It's tiny too, and it'll be perfect in a coffee on my and with my coffee bar. Oh, love it. And then I picked up, I saw this in somebody else's haul. I don't remember who. It's just a plastic jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. Um, yes, but I needed it in my life. And it was $1 as well. You could totally like fill this up with candy and gift it. But I'm going to probably just use it as decor. Although I could put my sugar in it on my coffee bar. I probably will not. But it does have a lid that seals tight, which is nice. So yeah, it was $1, guys. I love it. And I love that it looks like the amber glass, but it's plastic. So if the cats get a hold of it or something, you know, whatevs. Okay, the last of this stuff I purchased at Target. Um, this candle came from the dollar spot. It was $3. Normally, I don't buy candles from... Not, it doesn't smell bad, but I don't normally buy candles from Target's Dollar Spot. First of all, I don't think this is very cost effective for a candle for $3. It's a cauldron. Can you see that? It's a witch's cauldron. So, and we all know where it's going to go. Say it with me. The tiered tray for when I switch over to Halloween. I mean, I need a cauldron, right? I feel like that's a must. Yeah. Maybe it will sit upon... A bale of hay I don't know but I got a cauldron that burns it's a candle but I won't burn it I mean I might burn it I'm not not burning it probably I will burn it before I get put it away and then I can take the wax out so we will burn it, it smells good it's like okay here's what's weird to me it's yellow like what and it's sangria sangria that's not a Halloween smell. That's not a fall scent. That's a summer scent, but whatever. It's a cauldron, guys. And if I do burn the candle and get the wax out, I can fill it with candy or whatever. I'm not eating candy, but I can decorate with candy. So, yes, I got the cauldron. Enough with the cauldron, right? And then I got, let me put it back in its little bag because that's glass. For $3, this pumpkin. This orange, I'm obsessed with. This is the burnt orange that I'm trying to accent with my navy blue and copper. And I love it. It's the felt, it's a fabric. It's not felted. This is fabric. And it may sit behind me with that blue candle. It, it'll make it somewhere. I can't decorate until the guy comes to hang my TV. And hopefully when you're watching this, I will already either have it hung up or I will have an appointment. He's coming tomorrow. He's our handyman that um, we all use in these condos. He's coming tomorrow to look to see what I purchased, look at my TV, and see what we need for him to hang it over the fireplace. Because that's where I want it. And then I can start decorating. Even though I haven't bought my new furniture yet, that will happen. But for now, we're just going to keep moving forward because fall is here. So, back to the pumpkin. 
it's everything I want in life. It's this burnt orange and I love it. And look at the detail in the little stem. I mean, it's really decent quality for $3 and it's pretty decent size. And I think it'll look good. Let's stick it behind me and see. What do you think? I think it looks good. Because life. Um, dollar, Target. I bought Hershey's Cocoa. Why am I showing you Hershey's Cocoa? Because I, you need to know something about this. This is not your regular Hershey. It's special dark. It's Dutch process. It is so much better than the regular Hershey Cocoa. And baking season is coming for the holidays, for Christmas cookies, for Thanksgiving, for Halloween. If you need cocoa, I do, highly, highly recommend getting the special dark, 100% cacao, and you see the bottom there, it says Dutch, I don't think you're seeing it, but it says Dutch, it's Dutch, that's Dutch process. It's a, it's a special way to make cocoa. This is unsweetened, just chocolate cocoa, but I love this if you wanna buy it at a store. And it's the same price as the regular cocoa. It was like 327. And this will do most of my holiday baking. I just wanted to share. And on the same vein of chocolate, um, for Sarah's little back to school box, I got her a Cadbury bar, just milk chocolate. So she'll have that and her Oreos for a little treat. And then I got her a gift card and I got her her cleaning stuff for her classroom. So nothing too crazy. Um, I picked up two masks. Um, here's the thing, Universal Thread, and this time I bought the right size, the small medium. And I actually, thank you for the um, telling me about twisting the sides. It's so big on my face. I gave it to my, I gave the one I didn't use to my neighbor for her husband because he needs a larger, a larger one. The universal threads have the wire in them and, you know, the elastic. I got it in this denim color and a navy blue. I mean, they're just, you know, they're just a mask, but... I enjoy, I like these. They're 100% cotton. They do have the filter slot at the net, at the nose, and they're nice and comfy. And the elastic is comfortable. I don't need any more masks, but um, I just wanted to grab them when I saw them because for $2 a piece, it's really a good deal. And if you need them, they're there. And they're, uh, they're gender neutral as far as I know. I don't the small medium tends to fit my face better, but if you have a larger face and you definitely want, or a beard, you'll want to go with the larger. Um, I started shopping for my kitties for Christmas. They only need one of these, trust me. I got them some catnip. They love catnip. Wellington loves catnip, but this will go into their, um, one of their stockings, but they share everything. They just don't know. But I grabbed some of these. It was on clearance for $1.29. And the boys, like I said, they love catnip. So I grabbed a little bit for them for their Christmas. So I put that with all the pet stuff. And then I just have, I think, two more things to show you. I picked up this. This is the deal of the century. They are birds. They had them in spiders and birds. I don't know if you'll see them. There are 100 of these birds. And I don't know if they're different size. Yes, there's three different sizes of these birds that you can glue and there is a hundred of them in here 100 and they come with a little wall sticky right here so for sure this year i'm going to put them on my mantle like flying out of the fireplace or up on my tv like that and you can fold them and shape it i'd open it and show you but i don't want to unseal it but they have folds in them and they're like a cardboard cardstock and you can fold them and make them um, like they're flying and I thought these would be great and I'm gonna get more than one season out of a hundred of them trust me so I will just use what I want put them in a zip bag put them in my Halloween stuff I'll have the stickers I'll have the verbs you know life is gonna be good or I'll take them to somewhere I don't know but I needed these in my life they were three dollars so I grabbed those and then the last thing I got at the Target dollar spot because, well, it's black hat for, for my tray, but it's a, oh, let me tell you, these are cheap, cheaply made. 
his little tail. I got to glue it back on because it's falling off. I'll just get some hot glue in there. But look, and they it's a little pumpkin and it's a black cat and he's going to sit in my tear tray. Probably on, maybe I'll sit him like here on that. <laughs> well, that would be cute. Just to give him some height because you got to see him. He does have a flat bottom and there's some weight to it. Um, but I need to take that upstairs. And I'm also going to cut off this little tag on the side. And he's going to go on my tear tray for Halloween. Cute, huh? So that was everything I got at the Dollar Tree. My two little things from Dollar General and Target. So I hope you enjoy. Um, if you did, like, comment, share, subscribe. And y'all have a good one. And I will talk with you later. Bye.